Okay, should we, we should grab our glasses and uh, we'll go see the winemaker and we'll go take a look inside the winery now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Gary okay. from Royal Wine, back with the Brothers Flam. Uh, we met Gilad a little bit earlier when we came. We now have winemaker Golan and we're hanging out in, in, in the... Uh, one of my favorite places in any winery, but it's pretty beautiful down here too, is in the, in the cellar and the barrel room. And, um, you know, Golan, we have a bunch of questions for you. We want to hear all about your winemaking and why you like winemaking and why you're into it. You know, so when we were talking a little bit about the rosé outside, I understood that it was made out of Cab Franc. And Gilad said that you're not going to do any single varietal Cab Franc, but if we asked really, really nicely, maybe we could get Yisrael to get us a little barrel sample of some Cap Franc oh, to try. Okay, what do you okay, think? Yeah, is yeah, is that a possibility? Some stuff in the, in the barrels, so, so let's grab a Cabernet Franc. Okay, so we were on our way over to the Cap Franc barrel, and, and Golan said that he's got a really special surprise for us. He said that he's been doing a little bit of experimental work. We're here in the Rhone, and he's trying something new. Before we try that special Cap Franc, he wants us to try something new. What is it that you want us to try? Okay, actually, I have uh, Morved. It's the first crop of a uh, great vineyard in the Jerusalem mountains. It's from Mata Vineyard. And uh, the Morved uh, thing, slowly, slowly, we can develop a very, very nice uh, wine from the Morved variety. Okay, so as you can see, the color is more cherry-like color. At the beginning, it was... Uh, color was, it's not the kind of uh, varietals which will give you this deep ruby color. It's a much lighter varietal well, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's more suited uh, to a lot of types of food too. At this stage of the vineyard, I'm sure, I'm quite sure that with the age of the vineyard, this is the first crop and I'm quite sure that in uh, a few years it will be more intense, more and more intense. It, it almost reminds me a little bit of a, of a Pinot Noir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of those it strawberry smell. To and strawberry to this small wow. red fruit. So, so it's really more vegetables like California Pinot. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's all new, you know, we should, we should learn this, this variety. I, I will certainly be more than happy to make a Lachaim to okay. some more vedra. Lachaim, Lachaim. Okay, so the, uh, the ever-anticipated Cabernet Franc. Yisrael was nice enough to, to bring us a quick little sample, and sure. even though we've gotten some good taste, we get to try it out. Now, you know, I, there, are, there are people that are doing some varietal Cab Francs. People in Israel think that Cab Franc ripens very nicely, and, and they believe that it works on its own, but Gilad said that you're really just thinking of it as a blending agent. Do you think maybe one day you'll make a straight Cab Franc? Who knows? Never say never. No? Mm, smart man, never say never. Uh, but then a time for now? For now, it's a nice component for a blend. It goes well with the Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Even though uh, I will, maybe I will try to make it Cheval Blanc style, you know, more uh, Merlot and uh, Cabernet Franc only. Uh, it's really, it's only the second year which I'm working with the Cabernet Franc, so I'm letting the vineyard to, to mature a little bit. And uh, as a standalone variety, maybe, maybe in the next few years. So that's, so that's the fight between the brothers, right? This brother said, the businessman says, people want it, make it. And the winemaker <laughs> says, no, I'm the artist. It's not ready to be a single varietal. I will not yet. make it. No hurry. So Wine I'm, and vineyard. I'm glad I can stay between you so that there's no brotherly uh, fighting. But let's see, and I'm smelling it. And I think it would make for, uh, for a great single varietal wine, but... I'm not a formal winemaker, so we'll just have to keep sending you encouraging letters. <laughs> well, beautiful. Well, thanks for bringing us into your cellar. I hope we can get you upstairs. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more. We'll sit down. We'll ask some questions. We'll drink some Cab Franc, and, uh, and then we'll be on our way. Yofi, toda ba. Thanks. Bye. Bye.